Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie Anwin for anyone who's new here and let's get back into oh. Planet Zoo and let's get into completing the Mexican Conservation Park. So to get started, we need to get two more tundra biome species in the zoo, which are... The only ones that I can find are reindeer and timber wolves. So the timber wolves, there's a few more of them for now. So I think I'll go with age. Yeah, so the timber wolves are the youngest. So we'll go for them first, is it? How bad? Oh, not too bad. Let's get those two. And now I'm going to build a timber wolf habitat exhibit. Habitat. <laughs> That's what they're called. Uh, I'm gonna build one up here somewhere. And you may have noticed I have researched some. What are they called? <laughs> Renewable energy sources. And I have replaced those as well. This has taken me ages to make sure everything is powered. So everything you can see are powered by wind turbines now, which is good. The only one I can't really figure out is the gate, but everything else is wind turbines, which is good. So I'm just getting ready for gold as well and waiting for things to research, basically. So I shall see you once I've made a habitat ready for here. And here come the timber walls. out there about the zoo ah uh -huh, good work Although, and my marketing's done must admit i'm a little hurt you didn't ask me to appear in the adverts <laughs> oh the wolf's injured oh look at that that's awful isn't it i'll get a vet in for that one uh vet let's have a look at how i did terrain hard shelter good Space, good, too much sand. Okay, so this is their hard shelter if I go into... So I made like a little cave. Okay, the the hay bedding isn't too good. Oh, and that one's gone. <laughs> Serious injury. Yeah, oh, both of them. Oh no. I'm gonna have to research that disease quickly. That's like a good thing to do do if you've got a disease on the go oh vet research done arctic wolves good uh active disease so you want to research the active disease so it the vets heal them quicker speaking of oh, oh did i surprise you there <laughs> i've been sat quiet for a while oh <laughs> shock the cat uh, what was I going to say? Speaking of research, that is done. And now... Oh, the art box too hot as well. Did not know that. Now I can make this two-way. So now they should be fine. Oh, hello. Oh, guess think the tickets are underpriced. They don't like that. Uh, oh, wow. The art box are miserable. Well, this wasn't the animal I was going to focus on, but I'll focus on them now. <laughs> right, so the aardvarks are happy now. They could just do with more food, which is in here. So better food quality for them. Lovely. That research is complete. So this is the one that was injured. And this is the one that had like a disease I think but they're all better now I think they like the little habitat oh <laughs> and I thought it was kind of fun to have like the little cave oh very cute the little cave down in this little gap here like all of this was lower anyway uh, you just built a shelter over it and yeah the fence is really weird but I couldn't figure it out it'll do 
<laughs> so as you can see, I started mapping out for another habitat to come over here now. This way. Might have to move the wind turbines, but aren't they cool? They're like spinny. Love it. So, let's have a look at animal trading. I'm hoping my... Okay, there's one reindeer. Oh no. <laughs> oh, we could get some grizzly bears. Oh, they're expensive. Oh, we could push our luck with one reindeer and hope for the best. Keep looking for some. Yeah, let's grab a reindeer and I'm just going to have to keep refreshing the list and having a look for some. Oh, our giant tortoise is about to have a baby tortoise. Cute. Let's wait and see what that looks like. So just like everything else tortoises do, they did it incredibly slowly. And it looks like... Is there three? Yeah, three little babies. Oh, that's so cute. Let's have a look at them. Oh, they're all in the long grass. I think the tortoises like long grass though. Let me just take that area off a little bit. Let's make that short grass for there. Just so I can see them. Oh, look how sweet these are. They're teeny tiny. Ah. Oh, they're so small. Oh, I love that. I love how uh, the noise completely just outs me when I take loads of screenshots. Look how small they are. I can't believe there's three of them as well. There we go. Took her time, but she had three little babies. Uh, the terrain all right? Yeah, that'll do when. Lovely. Oh, we got baby tortoises. What's going on now? Vet research. So I'm going to build a reindeer thing. And, oh, look more. So what have I got? I have one girl, so we need a boy. Let's go any species. Reindeer, just so I can clear it. Uh, we need a boy, so we'll adopt a boy. And then we will buy the rest of the girls. <laughs> Great, so now we should have enough. And I'll build a another habitat up here now. And here comes our reindeer. Good work! Yay! Silver! Some preparations for those new animals. <laughs> they really won't enjoy the Mexican weather. <laughs> oh, trust me, I know. Oh, look at all that. That's pretty. I've never seen that all zoomed in before. Heavens. The expansion and improvements really are continuing apace. I'll be honest. The way you're running this zoo makes me wonder if my job's even needed. <laughs> well, need it or not, I'm still Yeah, you just here to like if only to talk see to what me you do next. <laughs> oh, and uh, for the free churros in the staff canteen. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, those guest education oh, wow. boards are really done. doing the trick. I swear, some of the facts I hear the guests excitedly talking about were even news to me. Oh, well, pretty much everything. Heck of a difference you've made to our conservation rating. Well done. You've really got our guests to dig deep and contribute generously to our coffers. Just shows how much they believe in what we're doing. <laughs> Magnificent. Oh no, power everything with renewable energy. Hmm. Temperature's bad. Terrain's bad, hard shelter's bad. You need more hard shelter. Okay. <laughs> Isn't modern energy hey, technology that was amazing. a pain in the ass. Here's us, with our very own North Pole in the middle of Mexico, <laughs> and it isn't using a single watt of non-renewables. Incredible. I put some more solar panels down. All of my wind turbines are starting failing, and I've got like diseased animals going about. This is stress. 
But I got all the renewable energy. That's good. Just the warthogs are really diseased. Oh, I hate the map feel like that. So the only thing I've got to do, other than that's driving me mad, can you just clean the war dogs please, is adopt and place two new polar bears with overall welfare of 85%. Oh, nervous. So they didn't give me any rewards? No. <laughs> so we have to buy some then. Oh, look at that. There's ones for cash, perfect. And now, we've got a nice big area over this side and I could maybe wiggle around some of this because this is kind of ugly isn't it. I'll wiggle around some of this and I'll pop the polar bears on this side and then we are done. Yay! Awesome! And here come the polar bears. Ooh, straight in the water too. You know, those polar bears are gonna be incredible ambassadors for our cause. We did it! Make sure they don't escape, as that would be quite the diplomatic incident. Oh, we're in the water. Oh, I know how hard it was to get Excuse the scene me? to this point. But trust me when I say it was worth the effort. Giving people the opportunity to see these magnificent yeah, it took animals. Me fucking up close, ages to build this giant polar from bear the thing. Arctic, makes them so vividly real that the guests can't help but empathize with them. That connection is important because if we want to have any chance of saving these species, ensuring that they aren't just some distant legend for future generations, then everyone will have to do their part. These animals, these incredible, noble animals, they need our help. So, do you think mm. you've done your part? Or is there perhaps yet more that you can do? Well, that's up to you, isn't it? I think I've spent enough time on this park. Someone dropped their balloon. It is la Oh, someone someone let their balloon go. Bless them. Look at the polar bear. Hope I've given them enough room. Let's have a look, is it? I think that's everything done. Space. You have got to be joking me. <gasps> Not enough. Oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> oh, but we did complete it, right? Yeah. Right, so I sorted out the terrain and the space. So we have some, hello. Some happy polar bears. The guests, the tickets are underpriced. Oh, good. So we've collected gold. We've got ourselves some happy polar bears. So it's time to finish off this episode here. We have finished the Mexican Conservation Research Park and we. So it is time to finish this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Let me know in the comments which animal is your favorite from this zoo. I think we're going to have to go for polar bears again. They are my favorite <laughs> from the Arctic pack at least. They are just a big pain in the bum to make a habitat for. But that's all good. I quite like it when they're happy, to be quite honest. So... Trying to get like an artistic sort of shot there. Wow. <laughs> I think it looks really silly uh, with all of this snow and everything. But I'm pretty happy with finishing this zoo off here. I think we've done really well. We've got like our whole Arctic area here that we added. So yes, rather large area of the tundra just going up to the polar bears, but I quite like how we've sort of just encapsulated this whole area. Oh, and another loose balloon. Oh, look at that. 
Goodbye, balloon. <laughs> I'm so distracted. So, yeah, we've got like this nice tundra area here now, which I'm pretty happy with. It's a bit different to how I have been doing zoos before. I tried to be a little bit more adventurous with like the cave system with the timber wolves and just a little bit more adventurous with the, the shapes of the exhibit so like this polar bear one looks wild but it should mean that more people can see the polar bears at once i'd rather do it like long than really wide or wide instead of long or long instead of wide i'm not really sure how to do this it just gives you more area for guests to see the polar bears rather than like it being all the way down there and no one's ever going to be able to see it back there that that would be my tip for doing a polar bear exhibit anyway let's see whether people are happy with the polar bear view yeah it's fine yeah you can get a good view of the polar bear from here nice so i'm gonna end this off here if you enjoyed the video smash that like button and if you haven't already it would mean a lot to me if you could subscribe and hit the bell to be notified whenever i upload a new video hi misty saying goodbye too <laughs> I upload on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.